This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. Halloween is next Monday, but some are celebrating the holiday a little early. And to make sure everyone is safe, we have Chief Jim Hughes from the Kirksow Police Department to share some safety tips. How are you doing today? Doing okay. Good morning. And well, thank you so much for coming on. So first of all, Halloween falls on a Monday this year, next Monday. Okay. But a lot of communities are starting to celebrate a little early. Mm -hmm. So we want to keep in mind some safety tips. So what are some basic basic safety tips we need to uh, keep in mind to make sure our little trick-or-treaters are safe, people are safe in general? You know, there's really three basic components. The first mm -hmm. are the small children. Mm -hmm. And quite honestly, they're the easiest because it boils down to costumes. Mm -hmm. Make sure that the costumes fit properly. Mm -hmm. And the first time the child is wearing the costume should not be Halloween night. Right. Uh, they should be trying it out, make mm -hmm. sure it's visible. But the reason I say they're easy is because the small children should never be out without adult supervision. Mm -hmm. So that makes it easy. So it covers the candy, stranger danger, those mm -hmm. kinds of things gets a little bit more complicated as the child gets older mm -hmm. uh, and maybe they start going out on their own. The parents think that they're responsible enough to go out on their own. And, and so that's kind of a, a, a focus of, of mine. Um, you know, they should go together, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in a, in a, in a pack. Right. Uh, they should have cell phones. Mm -hmm. and, and here's the thing for parents. Uh, the parents should know where they're going to go. Mm -hmm. There should be a curfew, and it's really nice to know who they're going with because maybe Johnny or Jane won't answer their cell phone, right. but maybe their friend will uh -huh. or somebody else will if you weren't trying to touch base. But mm -hmm. should go together, um, have cell phones, you know, be careful in the roadways, mm -hmm. um, you know, that, that sort of thing. And then the third component, and I know I'm hitting you with a lot of things, <laughs> that's for all of us adults. Uh -huh. uh, and basically that's what this morning for me is focused on uh -huh. I mean, because they're the ones that, that bear a lot of the responsibility here. And, you know, there's a lot of young kids out there maybe with the costumes that don't fit properly, and it's dark. There's a lot of mm -hmm. dark streets around. Uh, children are just running back and forth, and, and it's just incumbent upon us. Right. Uh, you know, we, we remember. I remember how exciting it was for yeah. Halloween. And, um, you know, we, we need to remember that they're, they're excited. Last thing they're thinking about is somebody driving down the roadway. Right. And that's very important to keep in mind when you are driving about or even, you know, dropping kids off in neighborhoods. I know some people will drive to one neighborhood, drop their kids off, wait for them while they walk throughout the neighborhood, pick them back up and go to a separate neighborhood. Now, when it comes to neighborhoods, do you want people to stay in neighborhoods that they're familiar with, whether they have family or friends living there? Or what are your uh, what's your take on that? Well, again, that's something that the parents should discuss with mm -hmm. the child. But I, I think, especially in Kirksville, where you have a lot of established neighborhoods, mm -hmm. you know, in larger cities, people move around right. a lot. You don't have as many established neighborhoods, so it could be hit and miss. Mm -hmm. But here you have established neighborhoods. People have lived there for 30, 40, 50 years mm -hmm. or more. And so it is much safer to do it in an established neighborhood. Mm -hmm. and, and just a couple other things. As far as the adults are concerned, people don't think a lot about their pets. Mm -hmm. um, so pets can get really excited, doorbells going off like right. crazy, and there's new new people, strangers at their mm -hmm. house. So, so please be careful with your pets. Mm -hmm. And then just think about your yard a little bit. Mm -hmm. We know that kids shouldn't be cutting across the yard, but mm -hmm. it's Halloween. They're trying to get the closest point from A to B. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, just go outside, you know, the, the day of Halloween and just make sure all the hoses are picked up and, mm -hmm. and everything that might be a trip hazard. So just a couple of little safety mm -hmm. tips that, that might help. All right. Now, when it comes to the police department, uh, you know, I know a lot of people might be a little suspicious of maybe some suspicious activity mm -hmm. going on. You know, teenagers might be playing some pranks or, you know, somebody might be using that as the perfect time to Absolutely. do something that's against Absolutely. the law. So what is your take? What should we do if we if we see something like that? Here's the thing that I say all the time. You've heard me say this before. If if you're out there and you're wondering, should I call the police? Mm -hmm. You've answered your question. You call mm -hmm. us. That's what you pay us to do. Mm -hmm. We would much rather go out and discovered that it was all innocent than to have somebody after the fact say, oh, I saw something and I wondered about calling you and I didn't. Mm -hmm. I mean, that makes them really feel bad. You know, we've missed an opportunity maybe to, to stop something from happening before mm -hmm. it, it maybe could have happened. And so just keep an eye out for suspicious activity and we don't mind at all. I mean, that's what we're doing. And, and it's not uncommon for us to get calls of mm -hmm. suspicious activity. And unfortunately, some of those turn out to be problems. Mm -hmm. But the vast majority of them, we go out and there's some kind of an innocent explanation. And so we're used to that. So just call us. Okay. And finally, um, I just want to touch base on this because I know the last couple of weeks, the scare of clowns, you know, we've had 
rumors of, of sightings in the Kirksville area mm -hmm. and surrounding yeah. areas. Um, and, and there's some reports that some might take advantage of Halloween as sure. to, you know, either A, just play a hoax on somebody or maybe do something serious. Are you guys preparing for that? What should we keep in mind? You know, I, I did hear a news report the other day. I don't know if it was here or someplace mm -hmm. else that clown costumes are selling out very, very yes. fast. But here, here's the point. I mean, we keep up on these trends. Certainly, that was an, an unusual social phenomenon, mm -hmm. kind of a lesson in, right. in a social phenomenon. Um, I'm not sure if it's done, mm -hmm. uh, where it's going to go, uh, but we have no evidence of any nationwide credible threat, okay. uh, and we don't have a, a, any evidence of a credible th threat in Kirksville. Mm -hmm. But uh, from previous experience, I will tell you that people do take advantage of the masks and mm -hmm. Halloween, uh, a lot of people being out. Uh, to do things that they should not do, and so that's not unusual. Um, so just just give us a call, and, and we'll keep monitoring. And if people hear anything that's credible, um, you know, as with the clown sightings two three weeks ago, we had mm -hmm. a couple of things we had to run down fairly quickly. Uh, they turned out to be just miscommunication, and in that old game of you know, we one person tells another person, right. and it just grows and grows. Mm -hmm. uh, but we were glad we were able to get in there fast enough so we could trace these things down and determine that there, there was no, no threat to the community at all. So. Okay, well, fantastic. Great tips to keep in mind heading into the weekend. I know a lot of uh, organizations and businesses are holding events this weekend leading up to Monday as well. And what we'll do to make everything easier for you, if you do suspect any suspicious activities, we'll post everything on our website at ktvo.com. We'll link up information with the Kirksville Police Department along with our non-emergency uh, phone number, of course, you know, to dial 911 if there is an emergency. So again, thank you so much for coming sure. on. And everybody have a safe Halloween. And we'll be right back.